Well, it's been a while since I've had a chance to talk to you. You've been on vacation and we've been uh, moving along. But uh, now that everyone's back in school and we're into the ACC, I just want to really quickly recap the last two ball games. Clemson and Florida State were huge games for us, big time physical games. And I thought our guys really responded well, showed a lot of character, a lot of resolve, played great defense. And uh, we got two hard-earned victories. Going up to Georgetown, we're going up with not much preparation time. Georgetown will have about three more days preparation time. We're not sure of the status of Lance Thomas for the game. He got hit pretty hard uh, with an elbow in the Florida State game, and uh, we'll know about him on, on Saturday morning. Uh, but when we come back, uh, you know, again, next week is a big week for us with Georgia Tech. Uh, on Thursday and these midweek games now there's going to be tenning started this weekend uh, don't don't be phased by the the tenning that like you're not going to have seats you'll get in yeah you come to the game you'll get in and be be crazy uh, when you're in there now there were a couple questions that we had on Twitter one was about attacking Clemson's press um, why do you want to not, maybe not dribble against it as opposed to passing. We, we wanted to pass up against it because when you pass and catch strong, I mean, they're putting a lot of pressure on you. If you dribble right away, you don't see everything. And if you're dribbling, the press can move along with you. When you pass, you take up more space, more distance, and it's tougher for the press to keep up. Now they're chasing you from behind. And uh, I, I thought Lance Thomas in particular had a great game in breaking the press because he inbounded the ball and usually had the ball when it was uh, the second pass. Uh, another question had to do with how is it coaching this team as opposed to some of the smaller teams and ball, more, a little bit more ball-friendly teams and, uh, that we've had. And uh, I've loved coaching this team, but it is different. We need to help each other in creating shots off the ball. Most of my teams in the last decade or so have been uh, about dribble penetration, making each other, uh, making shots for one, or th one another through that penetration. And this team, although we're, we're doing a little bit more dribble penetration, has to rely on more screens. Uh, but it's a big team, and I think half court defensively, it's as, it's as good a team as I've had uh, in, this, in the last decade. I mean, our, our half court defense is, uh, is outstanding, outstanding, and it's anchored by Lance, Lance Thomas. Uh, I want you to know I'm still looking for signs, and uh, I'd like to see even more signs. And uh, the winners, of, uh, the sign winners are John Tasbear, uh, Leslie Andriani, Tim Armstrong, Swetha Sunder, and Chris Hancock. So you guys, you all are going to have uh, some good seats right behind me. And remember, now that we're in ACC play, you can say bad things to the officials, you know, not bad things, but point out some of the mistakes that they're making instead of me having to do it all the time. Yeah, so I look forward to seeing you all uh, at Georgia Tech.